Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a GIF to a WordPress blog or website. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a GIF is, it stands for Graphics Interchange Format, and it's basically a short animated loop. It's a fun way to add some life to a blog post and can increase engagement on your blog because they add a dynamic element that can attract attention, make your content more memorable, and encourage your audience to interact with your posts. Plus, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through that process step-by-step step so that you can add GIFs to your next blog post. Now, real quick, if you get any value from this tutorial, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to the Blog Within YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all of the blogging tutorials. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find our GIF. And a popular site for GIFs is Giphy.com. And I'll put a link to this in the video description below, but this site is my go-to when I wanna find a GIF. And for this particular example, I'm gonna add a GIF to my About page. So I'm gonna search for a welcome GIF. And you could use the search bar here at the top of the screen and filter by keyword to help narrow your search and find the perfect GIF. And as you can see, scrolling through the results, they have literally thousands of GIFs to choose from, but once you find one that you wanna use, click on it, and that will take you to the sharing settings. Then from here, we're going to embed the GIF on a blog, so click the embed icon, and you have a few options here as well. I'm gonna go through both, so you'll see how each option displays the GIF on your blog, and then you can decide what works best for you. Okay, so first, I want to embed a responsive GIF and all this means is that once we embed the GIF on our WordPress About page, it'll be responsive and will automatically resize to fit whatever device is being used to view the content. So we'll wanna flip this responsive switch on to enable the responsiveness. Then directly below that, it'll give you the embed code. This is what we're gonna copy and paste on our blog. So click that copy code button and once you do, you'll get a notification letting you know that it's been successfully copied and once that happens, head over to your WordPress blog. Again, I'm adding this GIF within the content of my About page, so that's what you're looking at right now. Then we'll wanna access the WordPress editor, so at the top of the screen, in the toolbar, click the Edit button. And from here, we're gonna use a custom HTML block to facilitate the code and display the GIF. So within my About page content, I'm gonna add a new block by clicking the plus icon. Then from the pop-up menu, search for the custom HTML block. So type custom, and there it is. So I'll select it, and this will add the block to the content. Next, place your cursor in the block and paste the code from Giphy. I'm gonna max, so I'm pressing Command P on my keyboard to paste it, and then it looks kind of weird right now, but it's just the source code. However, if we preview our changes, you can see what it'll look like on the front end of your blog. So in the upper right corner of the WordPress editor, click the preview button, then select preview a new tab, and this will open the preview environment where it'll let you review your edits before publishing them and making them live for the world to see. And OMG, hi, our GIF is huge. And I'm viewing this on my desktop computer and due to the embed code being responsive, it's stretching it and using 100% of the space provided for the content, causing the GIF to expand and look pretty huge. Then if we check out the mobile preview, and I'm using a Chrome browser and inspecting the element, so that's why I'm able to preview the mobile view, but this actually looks much better than desktop. Even though it's spread out and using the entire width of the device, it still looks proportionate and evenly spaced. Again, this is just a personal preference, but if you don't want the GIF to spread out like this on your desktop, then let me show you the other option when it comes to embedding this GIF on your WordPress blog. So let's head back to our GIF at Giphy, and this time flip that responsive switch to off. Then just like before, copy the new embed code by clicking the copy button again. Then once it's been copied, we'll head back to WordPress, and first I'm gonna delete the initial responsive embed code that I added to the custom HTML block. Then we're gonna do some editing to our non-responsive code so that it looks neat and flush with our blog content. So first we'll need to center the GIF so that it's aligned in the middle of our about page. 
And the way we'll do that is with the center tag. So within the custom HTML block, add the opening center tag like so. And it'll look like this. Then directly next to the opening center tag, paste the non-responsive embed code from Giphy. Again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command-P on my keyboard to paste it. Then, and this is important, to close it out, you'll need to add the center closing tag at the very end of the code from Giphy. And it's pretty much the same as the opening center tag, but you'll add a forward slash prior to the word center. All closing tags look like this, and this is basically telling WordPress to center whatever this code's output is on the front end of your blog. The next edit we're gonna make to this code is the height and width of the iframe. By default, it's set to 480 pixels, but this tends to be too large for most mobile devices. So you can test different dimensions, but I'm gonna change it from 480 to 325. And all you'll do is change those numbers in the code like so. And that's it, that's gonna do it for our code edits. So let's preview our changes again to see how it looks on the front end. So follow the same steps as before to access the preview environment. And check that out, our GIF this time isn't stretched across the entire section of the content. However, the padding above and below the GIF is kind of tight. It's sitting right next to the text, but I'll show you how to fix that in a few moments. First, let's check out the mobile view. And as you can see, the 325 pixels height and width looks great on this mobile device. So if you're cool with using a smaller size GIF on your desktop view, then this option is great. However, the padding around the GIF is pretty tight, so let's fix that. Okay, back at our WordPress editor, I'm sure you're starting to see how things look here don't always translate to how it looks on the front end of your site. And that's due to your WordPress theme CSS. And depending on the theme you use, you may need to make some adjustments to ensure that the user experience is similar to how things look on the back end of your WordPress editor. For example, the padding on our GIF looks great here, but as we just saw when we previewed it, the GIF was super close to the text and it just looked kind of mashed up with the content. Doesn't look great, so one way to quickly fix that is with the spacer block. But first, I wanna actually move this GIF so that it isn't sitting at the bottom of the page. And one of the awesome benefits of WordPress blocks is that you have the ability to essentially manipulate the location of each block here within the editor. Just make sure you have the block selected, and we do, you could tell by that blue border around it. Then to move it, within the toolbar at the top of the screen, and your toolbar may be within the block, I've configured my editor settings so that the toolbar is located at the top of the screen, but either way, find these arrows and then click the up or down arrow to reposition the block. As you do, you'll see that the custom HTML block seamlessly slides to its new location. And there we go, I like that. Then remember the padding was pretty tight around the GIF, so one way that I like to adjust that is with the help of spacer blocks. And these are blocks that essentially let you add additional space between elements on your site. They're pretty handy and give you creative control without having to mess with CSS. And all I'm gonna do here is add a spacer block above and below the custom HTML block. So first we'll need to add the blocks. And since this block is already in place, the way to add a block is through the more options menu. So within the toolbar for the custom HTML block, click that three dot icon and this will open the more options menu, giving you even more editing options for this block. One of them being the ability to insert a new block before the custom HTML block. So select insert before from that drop down menu, and then click the plus icon to add a new block. And this time search for the spacer block. And there it is, so I'm gonna select it, And boom, you'll see the spacer block has been added, but by default, it adds 100 pixels of space. This is obviously too much, but if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, the block settings, you can configure the pixels here by typing the number that you wanna use. And for this example, I wanna use 25 pixels of space. So I'll change 100 to 25. And there we go. 
then I wanna add another spacer block below the custom HTML block, but this time instead of inserting a new block below it, we'll just duplicate our 25 pixel spacer that we just added and then we'll move it below. And here's what I mean. So make sure you have the spacer block selected and click the more options tab. Then this time from the drop down menu, select duplicate. And this will add an exact duplicate of the spacer block that we just created. Then to reposition it, simply click that down arrow this time. And just like that, we've added 25 pixels of space above and below our GIF. So let's check this out and see how it looks on the front end of our site. So go ahead and preview the changes again. And preview a new tab. And check that out. Spacing looks much better and our spacer blocks have given our GIF a little more breathing room against the text. This is easier on the eyes and provides a much better user experience overall. And then checking out the mobile view, looks great there as well. Again, both options of embedding a GIF come with some pros and cons, but overall it's a super easy and fun way to spice up your content and add a little movement to what is typically stagnant text. So find what works best for you and have fun adding GIFs to your next WordPress blog post or page. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you have your WordPress site up and running, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll show you everything you need to know step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.